Man, I miss spending the day at the pool. It's been forever since I just kicked back and had a day in the water. I don't think I've been to a water park since I was a kid. I was doing some research and thinking about getting back in the water when I came across some crazy places to swim. So I'm gonna share them with all of you. In this video, I'm talking about 15 of the scariest swimming pools you won't believe exist. Without further ado, let's dive into this video. Get it? Yeah, even I'm cringing. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. The Grand Wylia Water Elevator. I know a lot of people who are kind of terrified of elevators in general. Being trapped inside a small space where you can get stuck quite easily is triggering for a lot of claustrophobics. Do we have anyone who hates small places watching today? Until today, I've never heard of a water elevator, but it turns out that it's a real thing and it can be found exclusively at Hawaii's Grand Wailea Resort. The resort is Hawaii's second largest hotel and is host to an incredible water park which pumps 25,000 gallons of water every minute, which is uh, a lot. Their water park is split across two levels and the water elevator was originally created by the park owner to assist their physically disabled son in accessing all areas of the fun. Great idea. What started out as an accessibility feature is now a big tourist attraction and park revelers will line up to experience the lift of the elevator which sees a small cave-like roof flooded with around 16,000 gallons of water. I can't decide if that's cool or terrifying. What do you guys think? Before we move on, I want to show you an image. I came across this while I was researching for this video. Now take a look at it. This looks like the most insane swimming pool that only thrill seekers would enjoy. A swimming pool in the mountains, above a lake. This looks like such an idyllic spot. I like the idea of chilling on the deck, but the pool looks so scary. A glass bottom pool hanging over a sheer drop into water hundreds of feet below? My stomach is doing flips just thinking about it. Would you guys swim in this pool? Leave us a comment and use open discussion to let us know if you'd be brave enough to swim here. Number 14. Nemo 33 Nemo 33 is an indoor freshwater diving facility in Brussels, Belgium. The pool was once the deepest indoor swimming pool in the world and it was created by an avid diver specifically to help train people interested in the sport. At its deepest, Nemo 33 is 113 feet deep, which is dauntingly far down into the water. The pool doesn't just offer depths for divers to train at, it also has simulated caves and platforms for swimmers to explore. The reason that adventurer John Biernetz was so keen to have the pool built was because he recognized that people in Northern Europe don't have the opportunity to dive off incredible coastal areas like Bora Bora, for example. He wanted to bring the experience of tropical island diving home to make it more accessible to people who can't afford to travel to get a deep dive experience. Until 2014, Nemo 33 was the deepest pool in the world but it was overtaken by the Y40 pool in Italy, which was then overtaken by a pool in Poland. Number 13. Siam Park Wave Palace Do you love or hate a wave pool? I have so many memories of being kind of scared by wave pools as a kid, but not wanting to admit it. It can be pretty scary to barely be able to swim and then have to deal with giant waves. The waves don't get more giant than at Siam Park in Tenerife, a themed water park with incredible slides, rapids, and the world's largest artificial wave pool. Wave Palace is one of the park's proudest features and is able to generate 10-foot waves. Usually, the Wave Palace keeps the wave sizes smaller for a more recreational use of the pool, but park owners can crank it up if park revelers want a more terrifying experience. I don't think I could handle a 10-foot wave. Number 12. Golden Nugget Shark Pool I've heard it said that you can do anything in Las Vegas, and having visited a couple times in the past, honestly, I think that's true. The Golden Nugget Resort is a downtown Vegas landmark and is home to the Tank, a giant pool that features a 200,000-gallon shark tank. 
The pool has regularly been listed as one of the most extreme in the world, and that is unsurprising considering it's home to five species of sharks, some of which have been known to grow over 350 pounds. The pool showcases the shark tank and there's a water slide that runs through it. There's also a section of the resort where revelers can get shark selfies against a pool tank backdrop, which is pretty cool. The pool cost $30 million to build and has its own team of biologists looking after the sharks. If you want to get even closer to the creatures, the hotel offers up shark tank tours so you can learn even more about the animals. Sharks in the desert? Yeah. I've officially heard it all. Number 11. Sinkhole Pools While these sound scary, I think they're beautiful. The secret cenotes of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula are filled with a rich history. They're the pools that the ancient Mayan civilization would use to communicate with the gods. The word cenote carries the meaning of sacred well. It's easy to see why the Mayans found the pools so sacred. The water is pristine and consumed by nature. In terms of actual science, the swimming holes naturally formed when porous limestone bedrock collapsed. These days, they're just a tourist attraction and are just a 10-minute drive from the landmark of Chichen Itza. Swimming and snorkeling are popular pastimes in the pools, although some are less accessible than others, making the water caves kinda scary. A few of the caves, including the Cenote Ponderosa, are attached to legends of lost buried treasure, which is pretty exciting. Others report the feeling of being watched when they're alone in the pool, almost as if perhaps the Mayan gods are still paying attention. Now that's spooky. Homestead Caldera The Homestead Caldera can be found in Utah in the United States and was formed over 10,000 years from melting snow from the Wasatch Mountain Range. The crater is volcano-shaped, and although the warmth from the Earth heats the water, the crater is not actually a volcano. The water in the crater offers the only warm scuba diving experience in the continental USA. Water temperatures are at a constant of 90 to 96 degrees all year round. Not only does this mean that divers don't need to wear wetsuits, it also means that the water and cave get quite hot, so sessions are capped at just 45 minutes. The water depth is around 65 feet deep, although the pool isn't just used by divers. Snorkelers and swimmers love it too. The crater has been the scene of one recent fatality. In 2010, a 26-year-old experienced diver was training for the U.S. National Free Diving Championship when he came into trouble. His family were furious that there was no lifeguard on duty and initiated a lengthy lawsuit. The Glass Bottom Pool Oh no, absolute no, no all day. A video of the glass bottom infinity pool on the 40th floor of the Market Square Tower in Houston, Texas went viral in 2017. You need to see this. The footage shows a brave swimmer wading out into the pool and then looking as if they're about to walk off the side of the building. The pool juts out 10 feet from the side of the building and allows swimmers to feel as if they're floating midair. Would you ever jump in this pool? I'd be so scared that I would break. I guess it is kind of cool, but I think that my legs would turn to jelly from fear and I wouldn't be able to swim too well. Members of the public can't swim in this pool. They have to be a resident or an invited guest of a Market Square Tower. Would you try and secure yourself an invite? I think I might be a little too scared. Yulong Shuyin Water Park the Yulong Shuyun Water Park is located in Longjing, China, near the border of North Korea. The park made headlines in the summer of 2019 when a terrifyingly named tsunami pool met with technical fault, causing a mega wave to burst through the water and breach the banks of the pool, flooding the surrounding area. The wave pool is supposed to generate big waves for fun, but things went badly and very wrong on that day. There is video on YouTube of daredevils enjoying the watery waves. However, an electrical fault caused a giant wave to crash over pool goers, injuring 44 people and knocking people over who weren't even in the pool as a tidal wave of water swamped the poolside. The video of the incident is almost as scary as watching a real tsunami. And this is just a pool. 
Luckily, everyone recovered from their injuries. But seriously, I'd stay away from any resort that advertises a tsunami wave pool. I think naming a body of water after a natural disaster is asking for trouble. Why 40? We touched on this pool earlier, and now it's time to talk about it in scary detail. Y40 was the pool that took Nemo 33's title of deepest pool in the world. Just out of curiosity, who watching this video loves jumping into the deep end of a swimming pool? Let me know in the comments. Y40 in Italy is a diving pool that stretches down 130 feet, so around the size of a 14-story tower. Yikes. Divers swimming down this far have to be careful about the speed at which they come back up because they're at risk of getting the bends, aka decompression sickness. This beast of a pool holds 4,300 cubic meters of water and is warm enough for divers not to need wetsuits. The pool has caves for divers to explore as well as a glass viewing platform for non-divers to view the fun. That's probably where you'll find me. This pool recently lost its deepest pool title to the Deep Spot Pool in Poland, which goes as low as 148 feet and contains 27 times more water than an average pool. Now, it might not be popular to say, but I think there's a such thing as too much water. <laughs> Marina Bay Sands Infinity Pool Whoa, this looks incredible to me. The Marina Sands Infinity Pool is the largest of its kind in the world. Located 57 floors high up over the Singapore skyline, revelers can swim along nearly 500 feet of water. The views really are insane. Infinity pools are an optical illusion. When you swim in them, it looks as if the side of the pool is a sudden drop, but in reality, that isn't actually what's happening. Swimming in the Marina Bay Sands Infinity Pool may look scary from the water because of the height and sudden drop, but actually it's safe. A dip in this pool is pretty much the definition of living the high life. Blue Thunder Park Edmonton You might be surprised to learn that North America's largest shopping mall and entertainment complex is in Edmonton, Canada. The West Edmonton Mall in the Canadian province of Alberta is home to a water park that spans nearly 61,000 meters. Inside the water park sits the Blue Thunder Wave Pool, Canada's biggest wave pool which contains over 3.3 million gallons of water. The pool mimics a real beach, and it can be easy to forget that you're actually indoors in a mall when you're swimming in it. The action all happens in the deep end, where waves can reach between four and a half and six feet. The pool works using hydraulics and has been a popular tourist feature since the water park opened in 1986. If Blue Thunder isn't thrilling enough for swimmers, there are plenty of other scary adventures to be had on crazy big slides. We should do a list about scary slides next because I've come across a lot in my research. <laughs> Library Resort's Blood Red Pool. I was so shocked when I saw this pool the color is so intimidating. It looks like the scene of a massacre. The library is a resort on the Thai island of Koh Samui, which is known for its beautiful beaches and pristine waters. The library advertises itself as an elegant monograph, and the blood red pool is the resort's signature feature. It turns out it's way less macabre than it seems. The red effect is actually achieved by a mixture of small red, orange, and yellow tiles on the floor. The water itself is, thankfully, not red. Can you imagine if it was? I've got a blonde friend that insists pool water dyes their hair green, so I'm certain that if they swam in a red pool, then they'd be coming out with red or pink hair. Some people think that the library's pool concept is creepy, Others think that it's stylish. What do you think? Hey, if that red pool gets you thirsty, you can sit Bloody Mary's poolside. Crocosaurus Cove. So we talked about a pool with sharks earlier, and that sure is crazy, but swimmers couldn't actually really get in the water with them. Australia has taken things one step further, and now daredevils can actually swim with crocodiles. Seriously, who would want to do this? The attraction is located in Darwin and its main feature is something called the Cage of Death, which is as terrifying as it sounds. Thrill seekers willingly submerge themselves in a cage while its crocodiles swim around them in the water. The crocs are fed as people are lowered into the water for an up-close view. Now that's crazy. The 
pool offers the only crocodile dive in Australia and really it's amazing, if utterly terrifying as the opportunity allows you to get up close to the beasts. Would you guys get into a pool with a 1,000 pound crocodile swimming in it? I'm not gonna go out there and say that I would, but here's a fun fact for you. One of the crocodiles at Crocosaurus Cove is over 80 years old. Chops is a well-loved member of the team, although I'm not sure he can be trusted not to eat his co-workers if he's hungry. A trip to Crocosaurus Cove offers more than just crocodiles, although some would say that it really is enough. Visitors can also get up close and personal with barramundi, archerfish, whip rays, and turtles. Cool! The Devil's Pool A swimming pool at the tip of the largest waterfall in the world? That sounds uh, horrifying. The Devil's Pool is like a high-risk version of the Marina Bay Sands Infinity Pool. Unlike man-made infinity pools, the sheer drop that appears to swimmers in this natural rock pool is very, very real. Thousands of years of erosion has generated Zambia's incredible Victoria Falls and there's a rock pool just before the cascade that tourists can wade into, although it is only safe at certain levels. I wouldn't want fluctuating water levels to be the only thing that stands between me and the 50 million liters of water that falls over the 355-foot drop of the falls. Some people think that the rock that makes the natural wall of the pool could, well, give one day. If the risk of falling over the top of the pool isn't enough, you have to check for crocodiles before you get into the water. Oh, and sometimes there are hippos nearby too. And you don't want to mess with one of those. Did we mention the biting fish yet? No? Well, uh, there's biting fish too. Some people call the Devil's Pool the world's ultimate infinity pool, but honestly, I think the Devil title was apt. Despite how dangerous the pool is, I can't lie, those views look worth the risk. The Pool of Death There is no coming back from a pool with a name like the Pool of Death, is there? Okay, so that's not actually the real name of this pool, but it is what everyone is calling it. The pool is officially known as Kipu Falls and it's the prime example of beauty sometimes being deadly. Kipu Falls is in a clearing in Lihue, Hawaii and is hidden in an area surrounded by trees. Tour operators have cashed in on the spot, but it isn't safe for holiday makers who have no idea how dangerous the currents in the waters are. Tourists have been known to jump off the waterfalls thinking that it's safe, but it really isn't. There have been at least five deaths at this spot in recent years. Locals claim that the water can change in a heartbeat, going from calm to violently churning. Footage of revelers meeting bad times have gone viral online and some of them are really shocking. The videos tend to show more water from the ocean breaching the rocks and flooding the pool suddenly, which looks pretty intense and terrifying. The scary thing is that tourists are being led to the pool. They think it's safe and all of a sudden the conditions change and they can't get out in time. Some people believe that the spat of misfortune comes as a result of an angry moho, a Hawaiian water spirit. Whatever is going on, it seems like a terrible place to take a dip. Local residents and rescue authorities are calling for the so-called attraction to be closed in order to protect people from injury or worse. So, guys, that was 15 of the scariest swimming pools you won't believe exist. Which of these pools did you think was the wildest? I actually like the vibes of the red color pool, but you wouldn't catch me going anywhere near the bottom of Nemo 33 or Y40. They're just too deep. But then, I'm not a diver. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.